Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host Lovely Cheese Pizza here. Welcome back to Let's Play some more Gran Turismo 3, the ultimate driving simulator. And we're finally on the other side of doing our first uh, endurance race of the game. It actually feels great to be back doing regular races again. I Don't get me wrong, I, I enjoy doing the endurance, but I love, you know, having that variety going on. So, it's crazy that... You know, just buying that Miata LS made that much a difference. Like, I knew we were going to win. I knew we were going to win. But I did not know that we were going to win by that much. <laughs> it was actually quite surprising. So, what we're going to be doing tonight, I'm working on a little bit of a reduced time schedule, and I'll tell you why in just a couple minutes. So, what we're going to do tonight is we're going to go back into that Spider and Roadster challenge on the test course, and we're going to go win that thing so we can get out of it and then start up something else. So... We have 104,959 CR units there in, in the bag, and so we're going to use a little bit of that to make our car just a smidgen better, because in its current form we will not win that race. And so, doesn't mean I'm going to go out and spend like a pretty mint to, uh, you know, really overpower this joint, but I think that we can get by without having to spend too much. Like, this does not need to happen, even though... Ooh, the 265 just because I have the means does not justify me doing it. I think we'll do this one though 220 should be fine um, It might actually just to secure this I think we'll go with with the racing muffler too. Yeah, 242 I think should be more than enough for this So I think with that still have plenty of money and we're gonna get it we'll, we'll get a little bit of a prize for you know winning this little deal and then uh we can move on with our lives. So we're gonna go jump into the Spider Roadster Cup. There's one thing left. We'll get a prize car that we'll probably ultimately sell, maybe, depending on what it is, and then uh, we'll, we'll go from there. But yeah, so the reason why I'm on a kind of a limited schedule tonight is uh, Matt's actually on his way here, and uh, we're gonna be going up to, we're gonna go up to uh, Portland because we're gonna go see Louis C.K. tonight. I think at the uh, Keller Auditorium, and I am, so far beyond pump for that, I can't even explain it. Like, Louis C.K., without a doubt, is my favorite comedian. And uh, this is the very first time that I can remember that he's even been in Oregon. Like, since since I started following him, like, probably, I don't know, probably six or seven years ago. So th this is just like, this is easily one of the bigger bucket list, you know, things for me. And, and for Matt, too. He's definitely his favorite comedian, too. So, you know, we're super down with it. As soon as we found out, finally, that, that he was going to be here, we bought the tickets immediately. And so, uh, oh, man, it's going to be great. And not only do we get to see the show, but afterwards, probably going to end up going to uh, the Hot Cake House. I'm going to get myself a meat lover's omelet and an orange juice. And I'm going to put myself so far into a food coma that I may never come out of it. <laughs> and I'm totally okay with that. And I think we made the right choice in getting that Stage 2 NA tune-up because we are definitely going over 140, what was it, 145 miles an hour. That was kind of that area that we kept capping out at where everybody kept, you know, catching up with us. So, I think we should have this in the bag. I don't think we're going to have to deal with people, you know, slowly catching up and passing us. I think that we're going to be able to keep them at arm's length this whole time. But, yeah, dude, I, 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 like, I can't even put into words how pumped I am. Like, you guys can probably hear it in my voice that I'm, you know, kind of extra bubbly and jumpy and shit. But he's just, he's so funny. Like, I, I love his style of comedy. He does, he does a very nice blend of just, like, really weird shit. But a lot of, like, very kind of everyman shit, too. Like, stuff that just, you know, virtually everybody, at least not everybody, but most people have dealt with before. And he does a lot of, like, self-loathing humor, which uh, that's one of my favorite kinds of humor. <laughs> where he just totally just, like, rags on himself. But he does it in such a way that is just really funny to me. And I love, I love, you know, I love the way that he, like, makes fun of, like, like other people and, like, and certain situations. Like, the very, the very first uh, stand-up bit of his that I had ever heard was, I believe, on Conan. Where he was talking about, like, cell phones and airplanes and just, like... Just like the, just like the the age that we're in, where people are so like glued to their phones at all times, and like 
they totally throw a, a fucking bitch fit when, you know, it takes more than, like, three seconds for a text message to send. And how, you know, he, and how it's, like, a miracle that it even exists at all, but how people are just, like, ungrateful piece of shit assholes, pretty much. And uh, the whole thing about flying where people are like, oh my god, the Wi-Fi went down on the plane, this, this fucking sucks, this is just bullshit. And, like, how he's like, why does the world owe you something that you just figured out that it even existed, like, five minutes ago? <laughs> you know? Like, why... You know, it's like, why is it, you know, people are like, oh, it's uncomfortable and my seat makes noise. It's like, you're sitting in a chair in the sky. <laughs> That's like, that was one of the first things that he said that like, that like made me laugh profusely, you know, for, on multiple occasions. And like, I, it, like, I was totally sold on him just after that. And so, and now I just, I listen to him on Pandora probably at least about four or five times a week. Even though I've heard all the bits, like I've heard everything that he's done, um, and that's another reason why I'm super excited for this show is that I I believe that this is going to be entirely new material, and so that I mean has my interest peaked fully and completely, and that's going to be great. So uh, it'll be it'll be pretty damn awesome to uh, to get to experience that finally. So you guys will definitely probably get an entire uh, you know recap from me at some point. So it'll be pretty cool. All right, well, I, I'm, I'm loving that this race is like totally in hand right now. <laughs> you know? Oh, I got to tell you guys this real quick. I had a lady. You know when you have one of those perplexing customers, that, like they just don't get it. You know, the the ones that you sit there and you explain something so, so like clear and concise, but they just don't understand. Like they just don't get it. Like it could not be any more clear. Like, it's, it's like a clear sliding glass window, and they're like a bird flying into it, even though they know full well that, that you know, that it's right there. That's probably not a point that makes any sense, but to me, it, for the moment, it did, and so I'm going to roll with that. <laughs> so this lady comes in, and she's asking about turmeric, which is used for, like, inflammation and pain and whatnot. And she's like, I've just been, she's like, looking for, looking for this one that has this extra stuff in it that's supposed to make it better. And I was like, well... The reason why companies use that that extra component to enhance the turmeric is because they're usually using low-grade turmeric that the only way you're going to notice any difference at all is if this thing is here. Like, we don't have any that have that because the ones that we carry are higher grade. And, you know, they have, they have other ways of improving the way that it absorbs in the body. So that's not a required thing to have. And so, you know, it took her about five minutes of me explaining that about <coughs> about three times for her to get that. And so now I got her on this one brand, and she's looking at it, she's like, I don't really know which one I need. And I was like, well, I mean, you know, you can either go with this one here, which is just the regular potency one, or you can go with the one that's the double strength one. And she's like, what does double strength mean? I was like, I mean, it's, tw it's twice the power. I mean, it it's got twice the milligrams of the other one per capsule. Seriously, another one? <laughs> this better be an LS, damn it. But it probably won't be. It'll probably be just the, the regular one. Which will be, the, what, fucking the fourth one of those that we've gotten now? Because we got one as our prize, and we bought one to start the game, and we bought this one. So we're getting very Miata head. Oh, it is another LS. Ooh. 5820, though? I mean, we're going to sell it because obviously we don't need it at this point. And it'll be nice to have that. But yeah, she just like would not get it. She's like, well, but why Why would one need to be double strength? Like, isn't this enough? I was like, I mean, there are other people that need it, you know, need to have higher potency and don't want to have to take the extra pills to do it. She's like, well, that doesn't make any sense. And I'm like, why wouldn't that make any sense? There are people that require more than one pill. Like, not everything that you take is just going to be take one pill and never and never take more than that. Like, nobody has ever made a take a one a day calcium because you can't do that. You know, there are a lot of things that require more than one pill of intake, you know? It, it, you can't just always take one pill of everything and never go back to it. But uh, I guess that she really just did not grasp that one very well. She did not firmly grasp it in your hand. So it was it was actually, it was quite frustrating to be to be frank with you on that. Okay, um, what can we do now? What should we do now, I think is even an even better question. We could do the Vitz race. I, I, I really kind of want to get down on one of those. 
but um oh boy this is this is tough do we want to do the beetle race do we want to do the uh the tourist trophy with the audi tt i kind of want to do that vitz race uh, that one seems like kind of a fun little little thing to do so let's go out and buy one real quick we got about five minutes left so we'll maybe have just enough time to uh, get through one race with that so let's let's go to uh to toyota and take a look at the vitz selection we got the euro the rs i think those are the only ones I would assume. <laughs> there can't be just a hyper expensive Toyota Vitz in here. <laughs> That'd be so funny. They got like a Toyota Vitz like race car that has like a thousand horsepower in it. <laughs> that would be unbelievable. <laughs> okay. So for fourteen five thirty, we get a, a a total of one hundred and eight pure horse sex. Sounds great to me. Let's go. Ooh, I do like that black Mika. Let's go with a color we haven't done yet. Let's go with that red. I like that red. It kind of looks like a little bit of pink almost, though. Like, it's kind of a weird-looking red. Let's do it. Let's just do it. I don't, even, I don't even care. We will get in that right now, and we will spend a little bit of money in making it just a little better. <laughs> I'm going to make you a little bit less gross every day. Okay, so let's look at this. Let's do... We can't do intercoolers. 13,000. Why the hell not? That's pretty cheap. I, mean, I want to ensure that we're going to win all these races, so let's let's make sure it's all done, and then we'll do we'll do this, and I think that'll be all we're really going to need. I, I don't think that we should really have to install anything else for this. If we do, I'm going to be very upset about it. We didn't need to go there. And then let's go down into the uh, into the Vitz race. Oh, good. I think the cool thing about this is I think uh, yeah, outside of the series race, we also get individuals. And uh, so we're going to be able to win a nice little chunk of that money back. So I say we do we do Trial Mountain. Trial Mountain shouldn't be a very long race, and that'll probably help uh, kind of round out the episode here. Um, but yeah, dude, she just couldn't get it. That was It was so frustrating because, like, I didn't know what else to tell her. Like, I had already told her all the information that I could imagine that she needed, <laughs> but she just, like, was not processing it. And, like... I was just, I was just like kind of befuddled by it. I was like, I mean, what more can I tell you, Claire? Give me a break, <laughs> you know. But uh, yeah, it was, it was something else. All right, kind of getting out to a. Uh, there we go. I was like, we're getting out to a little bit of a slow start here. But I think, yeah, this is gonna be where we start, yeah, you know, overpowering them because they're all driving the inferior version of the car here. So I think our ability to uh, jump out in front of them and never look back is gonna be a. a total certainty here in, in just a quick second. Whee! Oh boy. No you don't. No you don't. Alright. Cool. By the way, I uh, I found out, I read this yesterday and I like, even though I even though I don't eat these things really that often at all, like I may, maybe only had probably about maybe three or four of them in my entire life. God, this thing turns terribly. Didn't want to spend on the tires though. Oh my god! This Vitz, it handles terribly. And, it, I mean, there's definitely a fair amount of my own error in it, so I will take some responsibility for, for the shitty moves that I have made. But, um, I, I read yesterday that McDonald's is finally going to make some new versions of the Big Mac. And, uh, while I didn't read what, what the other ones were, the one that I, that I read about immediately was the, uh, the Big Mac Jr. Which, uh, which I'm so happy about because what they're finally going to do, the one thing about the Big Mac that has always pissed me off so much for virtually no reason, like I don't know why I, I hold like so much anger towards this one concept of this burger, but it's it's that fucking like middle bun. Like I, I've never understood why that needed to be there. It just, it, it's such a, it's such a totally unnecessary component to have in there. It's just needless bread to have. And so when I when I found out that they were finally finally making a Big Mac that doesn't have that, I like I seriously got up out of my chair and and did like the victory fist in the air. I was just like, "Finally, my prayers have been answered." Like I might like I will actually probably seriously entertain eating those now. Like one of the things that I loved about the Big Carl when it came out for Carl's Jr is that it was basically a Big Mac that didn't have the middle bun in it. And so it's just like they finally listened, like they knew 
they they finally figured it out and I would assume that the price has to be less and I know that just by and it's obviously just a little bit healthier because you're not you're getting all just the the rest of those empty ass carbohydrates in it is it still gonna be terrible for you of course <laughs> I mean I'm not saying by any means like this is now a healthy a healthy meal by any stretch because it's not that that meat you still only know maybe about 27.333 repeating percent of what that meat actually is but am I am I probably going to entertain it further you're damn right I am all right all right we got this, this has definitely not been the ideal version of this race <laughs> I, I should have been just murdering these people you know like uh, like the guys from Contra in you know from the get-go but we have kind of dug our own our own very poorly made bed here Oh God! Come on! Come on! This is this is not where I wanted to be, right now. <laughs> the embarrassment is is imminent. There, I don't think that even if I make this little shortcut here, that we're going to be able to pass him up. Oh! 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 Damn it! Fuck! There were just there were so many things I did wrong there. <laughs> there were just. There are so many things that happen that should not have happened that do me. I mean, are we going to be able to make extra money now because of it? Yes, but that was not acceptable. Absolutely not. We had, in every way, shape, and form, the superior vehicle. And, uh, and, uh... You blew it! You blew it all to hell! So, uh, that's kind of a, kind of a sour way to finish it off, but... I now know, like I, I have a better grasp of how to handle that car. It, it's it's definitely it's very stiff. It, it is very stiff, but we are a total of 9.1% done with the game. Our win ratio is 80%. I think that's pretty good. I mean, is it great? No, but I but I think the way that I had it when I did uh, my Gran Turismo 2 series is I wanted to have a win ratio of at least over 75. I feel like that's perfectly attainable. So we will uh, we will try to keep it that way, but I am out of time, my friends. Uh, he's going to be here in probably just a few minutes. So when we come back on the next installment of Let's Play Gran Turismo 3, the ultimate driving simulator, we're going to uh, kind of dive again into the pool that is the Vitz race. And we're going to hopefully do a lot better this time. We will get our revenge on Trial Mountain and that whole thing. So until then, my friends, this is your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza, saying thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. I should probably go save that. I did not do that. Take care, everybody. Bye.